<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sarah, and for those of you who do, welcome back again. Um, today I'm going to take you guys on a little trip around our local chat shops and see what we pick up. Today we're visiting a local cancer research shop. This used to be a budget cancer research shop, but recently they've changed their prices and how they operate and the stuff in the shop now is very very expensive. We used to spend hundreds a month in the shop and at the end of the video we'll show you how much we spent in the last two months over June and July. This shop used to be great for toys, games, jigsaws, bric-a-brac but due to the increase in prices we only ever pick up the odd piece of clothing. I'm sure this dress that Sarah picks up is H&M, it's brand new with tags and we'll share how much it cost at the end of the video and how much we hope to get for it. I think we've started with the worst charity shop to show you footage of as there's not much there to see. We did come across a few box shoes but they were nearly asking the full price of what you'd buy them brand new for so they weren't worth reselling. Over July and August we spent a total of £8 over two months, so that's averages £4 a month and that's a big big drop compared to what we used to spend in this shop. Next up is Sense Scotland and at the end I'll share how much I spent over June and July. This shop is very small, there's not a lot of stock compared to Lakes of St Andrews locally but the staff in here are really nice and lovely and we do find quite a few bargains in this shop, which is brilliant. The more you visit your local charity shops, it gets faster at searching for items to resell. As you see, Sarah only picked up one pair of shoes in this rack because she knows over the previous weeks that she's checked all the shoes on her phone. And it's the same at the men's section when I'm looking through t-shirts and shirts. I'll skip past a lot of them because I recognise the colour or the style and I know that I've already looked it up. This is the only item that we picked up today from Sense Scotland. I really like this shop. Sometimes you draw a blank. When we actually find good stuff, we do really well out of it. So over June and July we spent £75.80 in this shop, which works out about £38 a month. So now in St Andrew's shop in Cope Bridge, this is my favourite charity shop. The staff are really nice and they'll say hello to you and talk to you when you come in the store and they're very helpful. They used to have a massive book and DVD section that took up the whole entire wall, but since they've redecorated the store, that has shrunk considerably, but still have a really good selection of books and DVDs. We did check the Darren Shan books and they weren't worth picking up. We do pick up books occasionally, but more so we pick up children's books as they are five for a pound. And we usually get like the Roald Dahl, David Williams and other children's offers. And for a pound for five books, you can't really complain. This is the children's section and I'll pop up two of our recent sales. We've done really well from this section before and as you can see Sarah's now holding a Barbie plane and we bought that today. I'm not sure how much at the end of the video how much we hope to get for it. We didn't pick up the camper van today as it was missing pieces. <laughs> I actually wanted these jeans to sell, the cross hatched black label, brand new and tagged and they were only asking £3.50 which is a very good price but my son decided to steal them. Don't worry Joshua, they're not here to arrest you, he looks frightened there. <laughs> I 
So over the two months we spent £288, which works out at £144 each month. We decided before going home to visit Bernardo's, which is also in Coatbridge, but it's not beside the other charity shops and it's a 5 to 10 minute drive away. We spent a total of zero over two months. We rarely buy at this charity shop, it's quite expensive, especially if you're reselling. Now and again we do find a bargain. We did find a board game in here for £1.50 and we sold for £80. Today we picked up two items and at the end of the video I'll share what they are. Now we're back, I hope you enjoyed our little snoop around the chat shops. Um, I'm going to show you starting with this big Barbie airplane that we picked up. We got this for £2. Now it's got some stickers that are going to need cleaning off and some work done to it because it's a bit dusty. But for £2 we've sold these in the past and they always sell really well. And I'm pretty sure I've probably got some naked Barbie dolls sitting in the shed. Um, so if I add them with it, we might get between 40 and 60 pounds for this one. But it's missing a little thing on the back, but other than that, it should still sell really quickly. We also picked up this jigsaw puzzle for £2.50. Um, I don't mind picking jigsaws up as long as they're sealed like this, because the hassle you having to count every single piece and half the time the chat shop doesn't, and they end up missing bits as a pain in the butt. So, £2.50 and into 15 <laughs> It's right down. I'm not just being weird. Now we got this super cute wee penny four dungaree denim dress for £2.50. Super cute. Let's get the ball sequin pocket. Uh, we've sold similar ones in the past. They sell really quickly. And we're going to stick us up for somewhere between 12 and 14. We got this Miss Selfridge dress for £5.50. It is brand new and tagged, and the tag says it's 55. So we'll stick us up for about 35 to 55, somewhere in between. We'll decide when I look at other ones that I've sold in the past. This one's really cute. Just love it. It looks a lot smaller than it is because it's folded in the back. But I like the belt and the pattern. And I like the fact that it looks like it's squishies. Next up are these kids flip flops. They were £7.50 each, which I think is a bit dear, but they have a price tag of £49.99 on them, so we will stick these up for about 30 quid each. And they're brand new, come with their wee bags, so hopefully they sell fast, especially with the weather still being nice and kids off school. So, cute. Did you see brandy there? Mm-hmm. Did I not? I, I think know. I did. don't know. I think so. I hope so. If not, you can just add it in with an arrow. We also got this, I love this, it's like a military style jacket for £2.50. We got it in the sale rack. I just, I'm absolutely in love with this jacket, but sadly it doesn't fit me, so I cannot steal it. But it's brand new, it's tagged, and somewhere is a label. Yep, uh, £29.99. So I think we might stick this up for between 20 and 30. Um, yeah, love it. We plant it. H&M. Pretty sure I said that. Did I not? If I did and he puts this up, you know, comment, tell me I was right. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. It's got the little brass buttons and some spare ones inside because sadly the second one in this looks a little oxidised, a bit rusty. But other than that, really cool. So I love this one. We picked these games up for £2, which roughly makes it 33 pence a game. And we will hopefully get about £25 back. And games such as King Kong in Conflict, because they're both PS2, we will sell as a set, and they can go as a large layer. We also picked up this Go Diego Go Wii game called Safari Rescue, and we got three PlayStation 3 games. We got Top Spin 3, Uncharted, and Skylanders, and Skylanders seems to go well, so hopefully that can go on its own. <coughs> so £2.95, hopefully. <laughs> And I think that's it. Yep, that is all for our little chat shop haul. I um, hope you liked the video. If you do, think about giving us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, uh, subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll get lots more videos. Um, bye! <laughs> like a nightmare.
Stop snorting. <laughs> You did so, didn't you? Hit the giggles. <laughs> oh my god, I'm laughing at nothing. I'm just waiting for the snort to come on you and you did it. I know, but I can hear it myself, which just made me giggle even more. <laughs> Cards, that's what I mean.